Good morning and uh, welcome back. Today we have a Keystone Bullet Premier 26 RB and then the last uh, two letters are PR for the Premier designation. Um, of course with that you do to get a couple extra goodies on here, one of them being the, the front cap. So just gonna kind of show you that. It's got some decent lighting on it. You can kind of see it here. This is actually kind of nifty. The uh, front cap is molded all the way to the propane bottles here. And your batteries and whatnot kind of tucked down below in that little cubby. So kind of like it. Of course, you got the battery disconnect. A power tongue jack in there, of course. And I didn't open this up, so let's see if it's unlocked. Nice dump station so kind of everything all in one winterizing is pretty uh, easily spelled out your stabilizer buttons are in there as well and uh, just kind of looking in here you do have uh, inverter prep and it looks like we've got some uh, solar on the on the roof here so it looks like it's up there doing its job it's kind of the way most things have been going looks like this is no longer slam baggage doors a little clip on there that is definitely new I suspect this is still a solar plug-in right here it's kind of hard to see but it is in the standard shape um, we've got these things kind of tucked in here pretty tight our our buildings about to double in size so they're expanding us so we've kind of got these things all tucked in quite tight where the unit of course has a uh, spare tire prepped for a backup camera walkable roof it does have prep in the wall to add a ladder those have been hard to come by lately so uh it does not have it from the factory i have no idea when i can get you one if you said you wanted it with it but at some point in the future it will become available again outdoor kitchen's pretty spacious that's a liquor bottle options for you so to speak this does come over your head, so it'll keep the rain off you. I will point out the, the awning also does go around it with a speaker above it, so that's kind of nifty. Looks like we're moving a camper out over there. Solid stair entryway. Thermal package. Looks like it's got solar flex on the roof. And I guess one of the things I will point out is you can kind of see it right here. It's got a nice radius roof, so it's got a nice corner. Traditional campers are pretty squared off. The higher end, the nicer rigs typically have more of a, a corner to them. I am going to point this out. I love this. I have not seen this done anywhere else. It is literally a handle on the screen door. So nice and easy to swing that baby closed. Way down here. 6620 i apologize for not shooting the camera that way but i was just reaching down to look i almost forgot so as you come in you've got the entertainment center sitting right here nice electric fireplace decent sized storage this one's uh pretty much just a little uh face panel i would say a little ledge down there to put stuff in again more storage stereo above storage hidden hinge doors all the way if you watch my finger it'll eventually take off and close itself some people are quite enthralled with that so i will definitely show it does have a nice uh fold out couch right here table and chairs with no uh what i call knee knockers if you look it's mounted to the wall so a nice solid mount doesn't wiggle around too much. Brightly lit, roller shades throughout. Black, of course, to keep the uh, the sun out. The kitchen area here, nice big island. I'm pretty sure most people are uh, familiar with these nowadays, but pull up uh, power for 110 and USB. Big farm sink. And of course, your under storage as it so uh, happens to be the case nice big pull out drawers i imagine the next couple videos you guys see there might actually be some snow on the ground up here we're coming into the tail end of november and we normally see some snow coming around at that point in time 
Nice big three burner stove, glass cooktop. Does have an exhaust up here, it's kind of hiding. Again, utilizing storage well. Microwave is pretty low, so if you are uh, vertically challenged, you will find that to be quite nice. And again, deep, deep storage. Looks like we've got a 12 volt traditional RV fridge, you know, 110 and uh, propane. Kind of going back to basics, I've, uh, I've heard some rumblings that the 12 volts are kind of hard to get again, so you might be seeing a couple more with uh, the original way of doing things. Huge pantry. And before I complain about it, I'm just going to look, and I'm not seeing any light in here. Um, without the light of this little uh, light on my camera here, it might be a little bit darker and harder to see in there. The wood grains in here look like they're kind of, I don't know, grayish almost. So kind of a little bit of a change on what had been being done. I know coloring on these things has been uh, hit and miss. Some people really love it, some people uh, really don't. So I will leave that in the eye of the beholder. Nice medicine cabinet. Throughout the unit, you'll see these uh, outlets, little yellow stickers on it. Those are where the inverter would power if you added an inverter. Just a ton of storage in here. So you can kind of see what outlets you'd be bringing to life if that's uh, what you guys decided to do. Again, tons of storage there. Nice angled shower, skylight above, of course. And uh, I guess let's move to the front of the rig. Maybe I'll just pause for effect, so to speak, so you can kind of take a look at the rig. All in, color-wise, looks like I forgot to turn my, uh, my chandeliers on up here. So hopefully I can find that switch in passing and we'll light this bad boy up quick. That would be it. Adds a little bit extra light, nice class. Here is your uh, control panel, so to speak. Looks like your thermostat is uh, not reading the temperature. It's turned off. Master bedroom, nice sliding door. Place for uh, television prep over there. I do like uh, the fact that they do have roller shades in here. I mean, nice slow retrieval. Easy up, easy down. It's all pretty straightforward. Here is your uh, laundry chute that, of course, goes right into your pass through. Hanging area there. Nice drawer down below. Little fresh. No one's opened it yet, so a little tight. And then uh, underbed storage is actually separated. Um, you've got this little separate thing here. It looks like there's a uh, little cover for the bed so that is also pretty nice nice above storage and uh, kind of looking you can kind of see you've got dual shelves looks like there's even got a little prepped hole in there for wires place for cell phone sleep machines USB and 110 on both sides both 110 outlets are prepped for said inverter there is also a skylight in the bedroom that is pre-wired for a second air conditioner, so I would highly suspect uh, large sums of money if we were to make a bet that this has 50 amp service. Just uh, as a side note, there is a nice little opening here in the kitchen as well. Nice barreled rooftops if you kind of take a look. It's got that uh, extra height factor going on for you. And then of course you don't have a flat roof, you're not worrying about rain, water, snow, ice, all that stuff sticking up there. So if you guys have any questions, Please let me know. Like and sub subscribe, please.